Good morning. Morning. We're at the top of Bosley Locks. Services. It's Bosley, is that what they were called on bread? Yes. Bosleys? Yeah. We're at the Bosleys. Yes. You sure? I'm positive. Anyway, we're at the top of Bosley Locks and we've been racing another narrowboat. We <laughs> No, literally we have. To we get to the air first. We moored about half a mile away, middle of nowhere, lovely spot. And a boat moored about, I don't know, 500 yards behind us. And it's, we've both been there a couple of days. Soon as we got out this morning, it's like, right, we're going to go this morning. They did as well. So it was a race. Who could get unchained from the Armco first? Who could get the cratch down and get off? And there's two water points, so no point. <laughs> uh, hopefully, it's all the way down. We've got 12 of them this morning, so we're hoping to do it in a couple of hours, or three, with a cuppa in between. <laughs> Just filling up with water, emptying the pot. Uh, we've got to try and fit the bike in the bow this morning as well, because Sean doesn't like it on the stern. Right, you ready? Come on! <laughs> It's damp. <laughs> it's damp. It's been quite nice all morning, just little bits of rain. And then we got moored up and it just started clouding over and it started to get a bit damp now. Uh, so that's the Bosley Locks. Uh, it's quite nice actually. Bosley, not Boswell. Boswell. You really, we were on about bread, it's the yeah. Boswells, not Bo Anyway, uh, 12 locks of 13 that are on the Macclesfield, all those 12 are together yes. and it drops us by about 118 feet altogether. We've got one more to do, lock 13. Uh, that's towards the end of the Macclesfield and that's the one, well another one that's closing uh, on the 4th of November. So we've got to get through that by the 4th of November or we're trapped on the Mac. And we don't want that. We don't want that. Sean's just nearly got stung. Yeah, wasp's <laughs> nest. You, you've got to wait there, there's another boat coming out of the lock. Oh, thank you. <laughs> wasp's all around it. Either that, I thought he was going mad because he just stood at the tiller going like that. <laughs> wasps everywhere. Wasps. It's a really nice morning, is this? I thought it was just the lock landing as we came out. Uh, you kind of come out of the, of the, like under a bridge, and then there's one more lock. And I thought this was a lock landing, but it's not. As you go around the corner where we are now, uh, and it's a two day morning. Nice. It's just between the, the, well, number 12 lock and the Dane Aqueduct. Google it, it's quite nice. I'm going to show you some drone footage in a minute. Uh, but it's really nice here. So we're going to stay here a couple of days and then we're going on towards, not Cogwheels, Congleton. Cogwheels. Cogwheels. It's just my head in it.
you might be forgiven for thinking it's July or August with that. But this is a giveaway. Sean's chunky kite. My kite! <laughs> and my hoodie which is back on. Uh, behind us is Ridge 65, Stanley's Bridge, and we're just on the outskirts of Congleton. Uh, we kind of hunkered down here for a few days because it, it rained and rained and rain heaved it down for like two days there was flooding everywhere uh, so we've been safely kind of tucked away here although the canal level went up by about a foot yeah it did yeah <laughs> i was out at midnight loosening all the lines up uh, but we're all good sun's back out we've got a couple of nice days so we're going to move on we've got six days to get off the macclesfield the closing the last lock before the trent and mersey and then that's it we're stuck for a few weeks if we're not past it so we're going to make our way through Congleton today, fill it with water, get a bit of shopping, find another good morning for a couple of days, and then we've got to get off. Get off. Get off. <laughs> <laughs> Say something. <laughs> this week, 27 years ago, we started going out together. Bless him. And I got less for life. He rescued me <laughs> from that dancing cage. <laughs> dancing cage. There I was in my skimpy golden briefs. Oh. Greased up in treks. Treks! And dancing for money. Now there's now there's an imagination. Oh, 27 years. I know. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After you cross the Daninshore Aqueduct, you come round the corner and you're cruising along this high embankment above the countryside. It's lovely. And on the starboard side, you've got the Congleton Viaduct. It was built by J.C. Forsyth. No relation to Brucey, I don't think. Although 1849, I don't know, it might have been. <laughs> and it carries the West Coast Main Line up above the River Dane. It looks awesome. 20 semicircular arches, each one carried on a rectangular pier. You know I can't resist some footage of trains crossing viaducts.
we weren't staying here all night. It was a bit noisy. You got the railway, which I don't mind, but you got a factory on one side, you got a pub on the other, and you got a main road crossing it. And it's still a 20 minute walk into town from here. So we just stopped for about an hour. I had to walk over to the post office about five minutes away and collect a couple of items that had come from Amazon. And Sean put the kettle on. Bridge 78, known as Billy Tights Bridge. Not allowed to talk about tights. Says that to keep his legs warm in winter. <laughs> it was July. Don't believe it. <laughs> Lair Thursday. I'm lovely warm in my chunky jumper. Lair one, <laughs> lair two, lair three. And it's a bit breezy as well. Uh, sorry if it's a bit noisy on there. Uh, we've just left our mooring where we've been for the last how many days? Three days? Three, yeah. Uh, it's near somewhere on Macclesfield Canal. <laughs> it's near Bridge 86. <laughs> So today is our last day on the Macclesfield. It's gone so quick, yeah, hasn't it? Yeah, it has actually. And we still don't know which way we're going when we get to the end of it. <laughs> uh, as you can see, just on my right hand side, you can see some nice black and white metal fencing. There's a bit of a story behind that. Uh, we're just coming up to Ramsdale Hall. Do you know what? It's too cold and windy to stand here explaining it. <laughs> Cut to the voiceover. <laughs> Looking out over the Cheshire Plains towards Jodrell Bank and the Welsh Hills, this is Ramsdell Hall. It was built around 1750 by William Lowndes. Now back then, the canal wasn't here. The Macclesfield opened about 80 years later. And originally, according to the plans, it should have passed behind the hall. But the engineers wanted to shorten the route it took, so they changed it to pass here, right in front of the hall. To compensate the owners, the engineers offered to plant huge hedges to hide the canal from view. But the owners didn't want to spoil that gorgeous view out towards the countryside. So instead, these decorative wrought iron railings were installed, in the engineers' words, to allow the owners of the hall a fine view over the surrounding countryside. I wonder how many people have passed by here on the canal over the last 190 years or so and gazed up at the hall wondering who lives there. Well, it's been home to the Humphreys family for decades, and most recently by former Stoke City director Alex Humphreys. But not any longer, it's actually up for sale. It could have been yours, it was on the market last year for a cool two million pounds. For that, you get the whole 12 acre estate with the hall, a couple of lakes, a paddock, a woodland, and a tennis court. Not sure about the purple carpets though. There we go. Sounds much better in there, doesn't it? It did, yeah. <laughs> so, we've been talking for a while and we thought we had a plan for our winter cruising. So we're going to carry on cruising over winter. Carry on cruising? Yeah, there's a, there's a thought. Can we bring Kenneth Williams and Sid James back to life, do you think? It's always a carry on on this boat. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be Kenneth Williams and you'd be Sid James, wouldn't you? <laughs> no, you'd be Charles Autry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we thought we had a plan. Uh, but I'm kind of changing my mind because when we watch other people's vlogs, as good as they are, the south, well, south of like Stoke-on-Trent, I don't really fancy it. I think the, the north's much nicer. Maybe that's because we're from the north. Probably, oh, yeah. We're going to have the sun that's raining down on us now, aren't we? Uh, I'm just a little bit worried because you know what I'm like. So I could just as easily turn around when we get to the end of the Macclesfield I'd come back. I'd come back if it wasn't closed until March. Uh, but we could go around, around the Bridgewater and that. It's just the way you are though, you don't like moving. 
I don't like moving. We get settled in a nice place and then I get really anxious, like, are we going to find a nice place like the next morning on? And we always do, but I think I've read some bad things about where we're going on, uh, on the internet. And But then again, I, sh I shouldn't pay too much attention to what I read on the internet. I'm always kind of Googling medical symptoms, aren't I? You died three years ago. I have, I, I have, <laughs> I have. I have. I've had so many brain tumours, haven't I? What yeah. was the other one? I I was pregnant once. Yeah. Once I had three weeks to live. Yeah, it's true. And there it was, Dom. That was the Macclesfield. It's a bit weird really because I think my expectations of any canal are too high after doing the Peak Forest. Peak Forest is still like way up there for me. <laughs> I think it will be for a while. Yeah. So I was already setting the Macclesfield up for disappointment before we even got on it. But it wasn't. It, wa it was actually really nice. And the things that surprise me are, when you read the, especially the Nicholson's guide, it, it says that opportunity for mooring is, is actually quite slim because apart from designated mooring spots, it's quite a shallow canal. And that wasn't our experience of it. No, not at all. We kind of took that on board and moored for the first few days wherever we could, thinking, oh, we might as well get in here because there's not a lot of moorings. And if truth be known, this stacks. There's loads. Tons and tons and tons of moorings. Granted, I think the canal might have been a little bit quieter because of the closures that are coming up. We had the closure between bridges 26 and 27 where the culvert's leaking, and then the Bosley flight and the last lock uh, are all closing for the winter closures. So it might have been a little bit quieter. But even saying that, there's tons in there. Yeah, yeah absolutely there dozens yeah. and dozens of really nice moorings as well. But that was it. We're now about a quarter of a mile away from the end of the canal and we're going on to the Trent and Mersey. But which way are we going? We could go left up towards the Bridgewater, uh, Anderton Boat Lift, River Weaver, Manchester, back that way. Or we could go right towards Hare Castle Tunnel and Stoke on Trent. And the potter is. We don't even know. <laughs> We've got like five minutes to decide. <laughs> Honestly, we're not kidding, we don't know. It all depends which way I push this. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm gonna let Sean decide. Uh, so you'll find out next time when we know. Hopefully you've enjoyed this vlog. If you have, please give it a thumbs up for us. Uh, subscribe if you're not already. Hit the notifications icon. YouTube will let you know every time we release a brand new video, which is every Friday, four o'clock. Uh, we've got a new range of merchandise out. <laughs> it's quite fun as well. Check that out. There's a link just under the video on YouTube or uh, go to the Teespring link on our website. And if you fancy becoming a Patreon, there's lots of little treats available on there. It's like a little VIP club. It is. Uh, there's a link on there coming up. Any comments, questions or anything else, just leave them down below. And we'll get a boy to uh, answer them for you. <laughs> We're getting very close and I don't know what's going on, so I'm going to sign off. Take care, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. See you later, bye. We're on. <laughs> Hello. 
and good morning. <laughs> that sun's really bright. <laughs> the lighting's terrible. <laughs> it's showing all my lines up. I don't like this. <laughs> that is a bridge that I don't know the number of. Uh, that bridge behind us, which I've forgotten the number of. Uh, <laughs> I need to know what the number that bridge is. You got the number? I've got the number. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what day are we on? So, so, yeah. okay, one, two, three, babble, babble, babble. Babble, babble, babble. Hello. Morning. And we thought we had a plan, but. I wondered what you were doing then. <laughs> <laughs> 